Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to discuss about time entry setup profile. How we can set up time entry profile in Oracle Time Endeavor. So let's start today's session. So the time entry profile enables workers to report, review and submit time card using time cards, calendar or web clock. It also allows manager to report, review and submit worker time and it enables them to generate time entries and time card for one worker or for multiple workers at one time. So when you configure in layout, you decide which layout to utilize, whatever layout you choose to use. Once you have your layout set configured, you can associate it with the time entry profile. Okay. So let's just move on to the application and see how we can create the time entry profiles. So we are going to create a workers time entry setup profile that joins the specified workers with the new layout set that you created. Okay. And we also want to control the time card status when workers can create, update and delete their time card. So make sure you log in as an implementation user here. Then you have to go to the setting and actions and then setup and maintenance. And in the setup, make sure you select the workforce deployment here. And then go to the time entry profile. Here you can see the worker time entry profile. Okay, in the required task. If you don't find here, just change required task into all task and you can see here. So worker time entry profile, I'm going to click on this task. And on the worker time entry profile place, just click on the create option. Okay, so here you have to complete the details. Let's give the name, description and uh, other information. Payroll, fusion weekly absence and payroll. Let's go. Time entry. Actions. Enabled against the weekly absence and payroll layout set okay then we have to set the effective as of date is the january 1st of the current year okay then we have to select the layout set we talked about this in a starting of the session here we have to select the Use an absence and payroll. Okay, here you can see the description is automatically populated here. Okay, so the time entry action allowed section here ensure that the worker view tab 
is selected here. Then select the enable checkbox for uh, create and view only. Under the view only, select the entered, saved, submitted, then reject it and approve. And on the edit, select the entered and saved. Then select the rejected. Okay. Then select the incomplete, incomplete entries only. This one. And select the in error incomplete entries only. Make sure you select here the correct checkbox. And under the delete, we have to select the entered and saved. Okay. Then we have to go to the manager's view option. And in the table header row, you can see here, click the enable checkbox to enable all the entries action for all the time card status here. You can see here, all the checkbox automatically selected. Okay, then we have to click on the next. Here we have to add our HCM group, which we created. Using my worker. And then we have to click on the next option. Here we have to select this. And then in the priority order, we have to select the move to top option. Okay, so here it is our profile. And then we have to click on the next. So all the information you just filled, review the information. All the information are correct or not here. Okay. And once you check all the details, just click on the save and close option. And on the confirmation dialog, dialog box, click on the OK. OK. So here you can see the worker time entry profile. So that's how we can set up the time entry profile in the Oracle time and labor. So I hope this topic is clear to you. So thank you so much for watching the video.